Hello, how are you? Welcome, it's Vincent Obita again, and uh, we are going to proceed with the, with the care of a patient with depression, and that's a PHQ-9 patient. Last time we did uh, a video on, uh, on the care plan for this patient, and now we want to do evaluation for this patient, whereby you write uh, a referral letter to the mental health team, and uh, uh, this evaluation form is relatively different with the news evaluation form because it has an element of uh, community mental health team that you need to capture. So for this case, we are still going to proceed with the uh, patient called Jennifer that uh, we had uh, 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 noted down her care plan. Okay, and uh, for this case. Uh, for the while writing evaluation, you need to to read your scenario in page one, okay? Uh, which is stating Jennifer is being discharged home, but will require follow up by community mental health team. Please refer the patient, and you are told to assume it's today, and it is. It is eighteen zero zero. Remember, that's what is giving you the date and time of referral. What is written here is what's giving you the giving you the date or date and time of referral. So for this case, uh, we'll commence from the point you are told. What is the main reason or purpose for referral to community mental health team? This information will capture from your scenario, and. Uh, Straight away, you will capture, for instance, you will state Jennifer was admitted with uh, abdominal pain, ascites, and low mood, okay, with a PHQ 9 or with a patient health questionnaire score of 16. You have to state that score at that moment because. The referral team will be looking onto scores of different patients, and that's what makes your patient uh, maybe that's make your referral letter to be relatively objective. The community health, uh, community mental health team can decide to leave your patient because the patient was not having a PHQ nine score. So if I'm stating here PHQ nine score of sixteen, and there's another patient with a PHQ uh, nine score of nine. Okay, then my patient will be given priority. So endeavor to place that score at that point. After that, I'll state, remember you are supposed to state both the problem and the diagnosis. I can also state, she was later diagnosed with liver cirrhosis, chronic anxiety, and depression. Okay, then now I have date of admission, you will capture from the patient's uh, scenario or notes that you had during your assessment. Endeavor to place it there. It, it's one of the things that people also miss uh, and you will have to go back because you don't have the patient's date of admission. Then you are told, identify the actual or potential nursing care needs or problems or activities of living which led to the referral, okay? To the community mental health team. At this point, you have to capture your main two problems that were there in care plan one and two, then add any other thing that was existing. At the same time, this is the portion you also need to evidence all you are having with PHQ-9, okay? For instance, I have Jennifer had a low mood, remember past tense, Jennifer had a low mood due to grieving as evidenced by patient health questionnaire or PHQ-9 score of 16. After writing patient health questionnaire at the top, you can subsequently state PHQ-9, but at least have one point you've written the entire, the entire uh, word, okay? Then the next point will be Jennifer had a low appetite due to depression as evidenced by PHQ-9 of, of uh, 16. Then I can add now any other problem that I identified during my assessment or in the patient scenario. Jennifer had anxiety due to depression as evidenced by PHQ-9 of 16. I'm trying to evidence everything 
to PHQ-9, okay? And that's very key for depression patient or PHQ-9 patient. The next portion is outline and uh, outline the nursing care provided to meet the identified needs. Here is the point you capture all the all the care provided by nurses in both your care plan one and two. The five points will be similar. Then the specific points for each problem will also have to be captured. You can write it down and use even the back page as you are capturing the entire, the entire patient uh, care. So I'll have explained and discussed all aspects of care with Jennifer and gained consent monitored you remember the two statements for phq9 they have to remain that way monitored and recorded jennifer's vital signs every four hours and escalated to the nurse in charge as required yeah then assessed jennifer's psychological status every week using phq9 or as advised by the mental health team then now I move to administered all medications as prescribed and check their effectiveness. From there, I'll give the specific uh, interventions for both low mood and, and, uh, and the low appetite. Okay, so I'll set uh, taught Jennifer on engaging in diversionary activities such as walking to elevate mood, referred Jennifer to mental health team and uh, that uh, and uh, dietitian i've just combined the one for both uh, for both uh, low low appetite and uh, the low mood but you can write them separate you can state referred jennifer to mental health team uh, for further assessment referred jennifer to dietitian for further assessment uh, you can also state encouraged jennifer to engage in her hobbies to elevate mood i'm done with the with the low with the low mood aspect or depression aspect then i move uh, uh, to talk jennifer on uh, taking foods of her choice to improve appetite encourage jennifer to take small frequent meals to improve appetite and refer jennifer to the dietitian those are the three points for for the low appetite refer jennifer to dietitian for further assessment then I close the entire thing by stating instructed Jennifer on proper use of call bell and placed it within its in a within her reach. Documented all cares as planned. Uh, and I'm done with the nursing care provided to meet the needs. I now move to the next portion, which is stating outline person's current ability to self-care based on the person's care plan. For this case, I'm just transferring the patient self-care activities that were there in the care plan so and in past tense jennifer verbalized understanding of her care plan jennifer de demonstrated proper use of call bell when in need jennifer actively took part in her care and you are done you capture three you can also add jennifer verbalized understanding of, uh, of uh, health education given. Then the next portion is document person's allergies and associated reactions. As we stated earlier, just write the allergy and the reaction. Penicillin, rashes. Kiwi fruit, swollen lips. You are done. You move to the next portion, which tells you to list areas identified for patient education. And these majorly revolve onto uh, lifestyle activities, uh, maybe engaging in um, in exercise uh, or uh, social activities. Although all those might be captured in your scenario, maybe the patient is depressed and is now taking too much alcohol, smoking, uh, and things of that kind. That will be your target for the health education. So. Here, I educated Jennifer on reducing alcohol intake to improve well-being. Taught Jennifer on reducing her smoking to improve health. Educated, 
educated uh, maybe Jennifer on engaging in uh, in exercise such as walking to improve health okay educated Jennifer on medication compliance to control the symptoms or uh, prevent exacerbation of uh, of the symptoms or worsening of her of uh, her situation so that's what we will capture in the patient education you are targeting around four points and you are good to go date and time of referral remember the first portion assume it's today and it is 1800 so i'll state date is 26 September 2021 and time is 1800. I put my name, Vincent Obita, signature, and now the date I'm doing the exam, which is today, 26 September 2021. If it, it you are told, assume it's tomorrow, then you will state in your date, uh, date and time of referral as 27th of September 2021, 18.00, but under the date you are signing, 26 September 2021, endeavor to capture that. With that one, you are done with the evaluation for depression patient or PHQ-9 patient, and you are good to go. Go through your work, check especially date of admission, date and time of referral, and you've made your signature. And with that one, you passed and that's you are good to go uh, and uh, with that one you will be done with your API that is assessment planning uh, uh, implementation and evaluation so with that one thank you so much for watching I really appreciate and continue supporting me by by subscribing liking the videos See you next time as we will be capturing different care plans for different OSCE scenarios and uh, different patients. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. Wish you success as you are preparing for your OSCE. Go with a lot of confidence. You will really manage because it's the confidence that will even make you pass before you undertake the exam. Bye. See you next time.